Hey there, everybody. We are out on the convention circuit again, this time for TFCon 2022. Uh, it's at the Marriott Burbank Airport here, which is actually this is the first time I've been back here since uh, the closing of everything. So it's one of those kind of surreal spots because we were here about two weeks before the world shut down uh, at an autograph show, the Hollywood show. Uh, so this is the first time back at the facility uh, and excited to check out this convention. This is a three-day con. We're actually only here for the Sunday. We had things the other days and weren't able to get out here. So really unfortunate um, because I wanted to check this out. It is uh, the first time we've attended a TF con. This is something, a show that's kind of uh, spread throughout um, the country and makes its way around and stuff. So I believe they have a, it's a Chicago show coming up later this year as well. So uh, a couple shows maybe a year, but this is the first time we've been to one and uh, right here in our own backyard. So excited to check it out. Uh, the floor is gonna be filled with toys, we anticipate. Lots of Transformers, obviously. Some great voice actors, some fantastic panels. Uh, so it's just a $20 ticket uh, for this Sunday badge. Uh, so uh, with that said, why don't we go on inside and see what we can find. All right, we are wrapping up here at TFCon. It was a lot of fun. I 
wish I would have had more time here, only the one day. Um, didn't get the chance to really check out much in the way of the panels, but some great stuff there. Some really talented uh, voice actors. Hopefully the video gave just a little bit of the vibe um, of what the convention is. And so uh, we'll keep an eye out for it to return out here. Uh, we normally do the end of the con where we kind of look at some of the things we picked up and just talk about the show at the car. But I parked several blocks away in a not ideal neighborhood. So I thought I'd do it right here in front of the convention center before I run over to the car. So I did pick up a few comics. Love this awesome cover from, it was about 1988, the old Transformers Marvel series there, but look at all those characters on there. Looks like a locked screen for a phone, a beautiful piece of art there. Also love checking out Spidey. This is the limited series, the four issue that came out with Transformers and Spider-Man making his appearance there. Not something we are likely to see uh, in the current round. And then totally unrelated to anything TFCon, but sometimes you find random things at these types of shows. So I picked up a build a figure piece there for just five bucks uh, for one that we need to build there. So did not pick up any actual Transformer figures, which I wish would have, but just didn't really come funded to do that. Cause I think my only interest right now is vintage. And uh, so loved seeing them. It's more of a kind of a museum show in that way, but it is a fun one. Definitely want to recommend checking out next time uh, they're in your neighborhood. We'll dive a little deeper into this. We'll do a vidcast slash podcast, so watch our feeds for that. We've got uh, 10 minutes of footage of just kind of wandering the floor, just kind of seeing uh, most all of the booths. So that'll be part of the vidcast where we kind of deep, do a deeper dive and talk about more details of the convention. And so be on the lookout for that. That should come out later this week. So wrapping up here for TFCon 2022 in Burbank. Until next time, see you in line somewhere.